Hello everyone, my name is Keith. I'm Ben. And today we will be showing you how to use uh, the Cloud Library ebook service from your tablet, uh, phone, or really app enabled device. We today are using an iPad. However, this does work on Android tablets as well as uh, Kindles. Um, however, there's a few more steps involved with getting it to work with a Kindle Fire, uh, and we will provide a link with this video that walks you through how to get it. But otherwise, you're just going to be going to your app store, searching for Cloud Library, and downloading it. On our iPad here, Cloud Library is already downloaded, so we are just going to click it to open it. Boop. Okay, so when you first uh, open Cloud Library, you are greeted with this lovely welcome screen that gives you really just one option. You can select a language. And English is the first language, uh, but if you want any other language, you can, there's a whole bunch to choose from. Yep, um, so for our purposes, we'll be leaving it on English and yep. tapping anywhere to go to the next screen. Yep. So now we're presented with three things. It's asking for what country we live in. This is offered in many countries. We are in the United States, so we're selecting United States. Then we're selecting state. We're in Maine. We happen to fit at the bottom, which is convenient. And then we're selecting library. Unfortunately, Rockport is low on the alphabet, so Ben has to scroll quite a oh, bit. Missed it. But he went too far. There we go. Okay, got it. nice job then. And then hit next. Okay, so now uh, it's asking us if we agree to the terms of service. So um, I'm just I'm... gonna start reading and Keith, you uh, stop me when you think I should stop. Uh, this end user license agreement. All right, Ben, that's that... good. Thank you. Okie doke, thank so, you. So like a normal person, we're not gonna read any of that and hit accept. Um, and now we have to enter our library card ID. Thankfully, uh, we had a card donated to us by the very generous Teddy W. Bumblebridge, and we will be entering his card number there. Uh, his card number, of course, is 24856-000-108-9990. Now, don't you guys go using Teddy W. Bumblebridge's card at home. No. He would not like that. No, no. We're going to press join. And there we are. This kind of guides you through uh, what the cloud library has to offer. You can also just press skip down yep. at the bottom. We will be skipping it. We're the tutorial. We don't need a tutorial. No. We are the tutorial. Yes. Yeah. So this is the first screen you're going to be presented with. Uh, there's not a lot of information on it as of right now because we haven't gotten any ebooks or, uh, or audiobooks yet. That's right. So we're going to want to go to search. And it's just going to take a moment to load up. So this just is sort of your default screen. And it's showing a bunch of different featured subjects, basically. I think at the top, we see the main student book awards for 2019, 2020, and then it's showing us recent fiction, uh, so newer fiction, um, and, but it does denote that it's eBooks, right? And then beneath that, there's one that says recent fiction audiobooks. Yeah. Um, usually the subject, those that text will tell you what it is, but also any audiobook, and hopefully you can see this on uh, the screen, it has a little... Uh, you know, headphone symbol in the top right corner showing that you will be listening to it with your ears, not your eyes. <laughs> so you're going to want to go to favorites to uh, uh, kind of pare down what... Uh, what you see, what kind of genres you see. Yeah, say you only want to uh, read or listen to certain genres and you don't care about the other ones. You don't care about them. You can pick the ones that you do want to see. So, Ben, let's go. All right, so uh, Teddy Bubblebridge, uh, let's see. What type of books interest you? Adults. Uh, do you prefer fiction or nonfiction? We're going to say fiction. We're going to press next. All right, that's going to take us to all sorts of different, uh... yeah, different subjects, basically, that you can pick. They're all uh, alphabetical um, and laid out in a, in a very, very nice way. Um, yeah. So so, uh, so you can just like kind of click mystery and detective. Love those. C stories. Can't get enough of them. Um, and then we're going to go up here. We're going to press save. 
Uh, let's see. So, so those preferences are saved now, and this message here with the tiniest text possible is telling you that you can edit those, either subtract or add more, by hitting the pencil yeah, the icon pencil. on the very top right. We're going to press OK, though. And now Ooh. it's showing us all of our favorite things. Yep. So some of them were already selected beforehand. We added a few others. Teddy always yeah. loved ghosts. He always loved werewolves. Definitely loved shifters. Um, this is this is perfect for Teddy. Yeah. Yours may be different. We don't yeah. know. Pick what you'd like. Um, but this this is showing you all the books. And you can there's books. Ben, what about the books we can only see part of on the right side of the screen? How do we? What are those? They're like kind of cut off on the right side. Oh, we just kind of scroll. They scroll? They scroll. And you just kind of touch and move? Yep, you just wow. touch and move. You can just keep going. More will load up as you scroll. It's infinite books. Yep. Uh, let's see here. Uh, right now, it's showing us books that are available and unavailable. Oh, no. Yeah. I, I want a book now. Well, Keith... Not that one. You want to press this funnel right here. This oh, kind of, funnel of course, the symbol. funnel icon, right. You're going to want to press that, and this will show you formats. You can choose to only see ebooks. You can choose to only see audiobooks. We are seeing both. You can choose available now. That's what... That's what I want. I want stuff that's, that's available now. Yeah, you want to be able to check out stuff now. You can do languages. Um, so we have, uh, right now, we have... Ebooks and audiobooks, and we are seeing only ones that are available right now. So we're going to press save. It's going to change what we see a little bit. So um, let's look for a book to check out. We're going to check out Dragon Teeth. Classic. By Michael Crichton. Classic. Um, so you would just press borrow. And then you can either press read. You can also go to my books. That's what uh, the my book screen looks like when you have something checked out. Press read. It's going to download it. And uh, ebooks will download rather quickly. It's only going to be like a few megabytes for an ebook to download. If you were to download an audiobook, it's going to be hundreds, if not thousands. <laughs> Of megabytes. Uh, so, so, so then the recommendation would be maybe don't use your data plan. Maybe try to be in yeah. a wireless network at home before you download an audiobook, or else you're going to be using up to you know yeah. and possibly over a gigabyte of data. If you don't know what that is, it's just a bunch of yeah, it's just a bunch of bits and bytes. So here's the <laughs> so here's the cover. Um, we can just click on the right side of the screen. And that is, that's basically turning the page. We got a little map here. We got table of contents. And the cool thing about the table of contents is those are all links. Yeah. So it, it, you, no longer do you have to look at what page the chapter starts on and flip to it. Like, like you know, <laughs> like a physical book. You can just click the link and it takes you, boom, right yeah. to the chapter. So I want to go right to part three, the Badlands. So I'm yeah. going to click on that. There I am. Wow. Um, what if I want to make the text bigger? Sometimes you want to. You can just, so you can click anywhere on the screen, kind of in the center. Go up there and there's a A minus and an A plus and you can just press the A plus, text will get bigger. Ben, just go crazy with the A plus button there. Oh, you can just get as big as you want to. Yeah, that's great. And then you can get smaller. There is, uh, right now we're in day mode. There's night mode. Kind of flips it. Yep. And there's sepia, kind of easy on the eyes. Classic. Uh, you can, uh, right now, so if you kind of do that, because oh. of page curl animation. Yeah, a little fancy page. If you don't like that, you can turn it off. But why would you? Why would you? You can also lock the rotation. Let's say you're reading this on a plane that's upside down. Or a... a on the wavy ocean on a boat. Yep. Yep. Uh, you can lock rotation, and uh, if your if your device turns in any way, the page won't turn with it. Um, 
So let's say you are done with the book or you just don't like the book. Uh, you go back to, um, you would go back to my books and you can just press return and you press okay. And there's, you, you saw on that screen, it said it was due in 21 days. That's three weeks. Um, after that period expires, the book will just poof, go away. You are not charged a fine or anything. It just yep. disappears. It just disappears from your... Uh, however, you may want to return books early because there is a limit of three books that you're allowed to check out at any time. Um, and, and kind of on the same subject, uh, earlier we limited it to show us just books that were available now. There are books that are inversely unavailable. Uh, you can place a hold on it. And uh, correct me if I'm wrong, Ben, when it is your turn and hold, it will just send it to you. Yes. Yes, it will. Um, so let's see. Boo -doo 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 -doo. Boo -doo -doo -doo. We're going to look at all titles and press save. So yeah, now we're seeing all the titles, not just the ones that are available. Yep. So look at this. We can't yep. get it. So we can't get it right now, but you can press hold. Uh, if you would like to receive an email notification, you can press OK, put in your email. Otherwise, you can press no, and it will just load on to your uh to your device but it just won't notify you now you might be noticing wait a minute i gotta wait half a year to read sword of kings um <laughs> it, everyone uh gets the book for three weeks not everyone will keep it for three weeks so i mean i'm not like a you know math wizard but however much three weeks fits into six months is how many people are waiting for this book so um that's why sometimes you're given an absurdly long length of time but uh it likely will not take that much time. Yeah. Uh, I believe that covers pretty much everything. Great tutorial, Ben. Yeah. Yeah. Likewise, Keith. Um, if you have any questions about this, please uh, contact us. You can give the library a call at 236-3642 or shoot us an email at rpl at rockport.lib.me dot us if that's a really inconvenient email to remember we have a link to it on our website that you could just click yeah. um but yeah please let us know um additionally uh library cards expire once a year so we can get the correct contact information for you um so if you get some error message please contact us and we will be happy to update your card either over the phone or through email sounds great keith thank all you right. yep and thank you ben and we will see you all hopefully soon.